In this video, I will be showing you how to install the Markwort C-flap to your helmet. Like it or not, for a batter, taking a pitch ball to the face can happen to you. And between the moment of release and potential serious injury, who has time to think about that? Instead, take the preventative measure of installing the Markwort C-flap to your batting helmet, just as many professional players have. The C-flap is a face guard made of flexing, a strong polycarbonate that mounts to the ear flap of the batter's helmet facing the pitcher and extends to protect the periorbital area, the bones around the eye, and the jaw. The C-flap is designed to mount to just about any batting ball. The steps are straightforward and can be performed in a short amount of time. However, you may be required to modify some of your helmet's inner padding and you will have to drill up to three holes into the proper ear flap of your helmet. With a little patience and care, the C-flap will look and feel just like an extension of your helmet, adding vital protection to your exposed cheek and jaw area without limiting your ability to see the ball all the way. For today's installation, we will be attaching a white C-flap for a right-handed batter to this popular helmet. Since I bat right-handed, I'm going to be installing the C-flap to the left ear flap, thus protecting my left cheek and jaw as would be facing the pitcher. If you are a left-handed batter, you will apply the C-flap for a left-handed batter to the right ear flap on the helmet. Your C-flap comes with the following items needed for installation. A C-flap, hardware including T-nuts and screws, a template, instructions, and double face adhesive. You will also need a drill with 7 32nd drill bit, a marker, flathead screwdriver, and perhaps a box cutter. Carefully peel back the foam helmet liner from inside the left ear flap, providing access to install T-nuts in a later step. Some helmets may have a chin snap. If your helmet has a chin snap, remove it by unscrewing or drilling it out. According to the guide provided with the C-flap, for this model I am going to align the template around the ear hole and guide the arrow of the template so that it just touches under the brim of the helmet. Properly aligning your C-flap to cover the cheek and jaw while maintaining vision is obviously an important step, so take your time and double check your work. Then mark each drill location. If your helmet has pre-existing drill holes, you can use them only if they are in perfect alignment with the template. You can then use your adhesive strips already attached to your C-flap to help keep the C-flap in place as you make a final check before moving on to the next step, drilling. A word of note, some variation to the template may be required and is perfectly acceptable. Now that we have our drill holes marked and checked, Place your helmet on a firm surface. Keep the inner padding out of the way and drill through all your marked locations using your 7 seconds drill bit. Be careful when drilling too close to pre-existing holes as it may create damage to the flap or helmet. What is most important is to get clean drill holes that allow for secure attachment of the C-flap that maintains vision and protects the cheek and jaw. Clean away any residual plastic around your drill holes and insert the T-nuts into the holes from inside the helmet. Secure the C-flap with the provided screws, taking care not to over tighten. For the last step, use double face adhesive to reattach the padding liner onto the inside of the helmet. Your installation is now complete, and you are now ready to step into the box with your Markwort C-flap. Remember, 
C flap comes in two models. One specific to the right-handed batter, and one specific to a left-handed batter. Overall, the steps for both are the same. So no matter which side of the box you stand on, pick up the appropriate C flap and follow the respective steps as outlined today.